Okay, so we're gonna get ready to do some fasted cardio. I always like to dress comfy for fasted cardio. And I just got these Gymshark Vital shorts. So I'm gonna wear these, they're super cute. And then for sports bra, something comfy. I think I'm gonna do this Lulu Align sports bra, it's reversible. Really comfy, really cute. And then for a t-shirt, I'm gonna do this cute shirt from Pretty Little Things. It's like a little Montana shirt. Super cute. Keep it simple. These are like my go-to cardio shoes. My Air Max 270s. They're just like super comfy. These will never do you wrong. So let's put this on. Best deodorant in the game. Best one. And then best perfume ever. Or I guess body spray, I should say. my Nespresso. I am starving right now. So hungry. <sighs> Alright, got my water. Got my painting pack with all my goods in it. My AirPods, my keys, and all of that fun stuff. Grab my phone. And we are ready. We're ready to do some passive cardio. Wednesday for you guys, but it's Wednesday for us. Uh, I just got done with fasting cardio. 30 minutes on the stairs, speed seven is what I do for my fasting cardio. I'm getting a lot better at it now though. Um, but we are going to make some breakfast right now, which Nash is amazing. He always usually makes me breakfast. I'm so spoiled. <laughs> and then, um, you know, drink my greens. I'm like craving coffee so badly right now. Um, but I'm going to drink my greens first. These are the chocolate and my collagen, just the unflavored. They're coming back into stock soon, so don't you worry. Look at how gorgeous. I don't know what I'm going to have curing a curing pot again because this is just too freaking good. Um, a lot of people have been saying to get like the Nespresso frother, which I hear you guys. It's in my Amazon cart, but I'm not sure. I'm not. I, I'm not even sure what's holding me back. To be honest, I don't know. Sometimes I like to froth my own stuff, so I'm doing some almond milk, just some like regular almond milk, and then I do a packet of sweet and low. And I don't know. I feel like frothing it myself brings it like. I don't know. I just feel like it's fun. First of all, before we get into it, gorge. I feel like a barista. <laughs> so good. Um, so for today, it is right now 7.30. This is my sister texting me. Hey, Chooch. Um, and what am I doing today? Okay, I have a couple consultation calls this morning. So those are first on the to-do list. I'm going to eat my breakfast, rinse off. I have two consultation calls and then plan out my content for the day. And then I have a nail appointment. You guys get to come with me um, today. It's the first time in three weeks. Like it's been three weeks since I've got my nails done and that's like a world record for me. Nothing's chipped. So I'm excited because I'm not sure like what color I'm gonna be doing. Um, so you guys get to come with me to that. 
And then gym time, we have an upper body day. And then some practice. I get to coach the cross practice too. And then, yeah, that is the bee's knees today. And that's what we'll be doing. So let's do this. Okay, I also need to show you guys my breakfast every morning. I just posted on my Instagram story, but um, one chicken apple sausage, some spinach, one egg, a little bit of egg whites, and then one English muffin. It is so good. I'll usually put like a little bit of hot sauce. Usually Cholula is my hot sauce of choice. Um, and I've been having this breakfast every single day for the past seven weeks and holy crap, it is literally so good. And yeah, it's just one of those breakfasts that doesn't go old, get old. And I love a good scramble. That's like my favorite breakfast. So obviously at this point, you guys know G Athletica released their new biker shorts. So I'm going to be doing some content for that today. Um, and as you guys already know, I did a giveaway for it. So that's what I'm going to be filming right now. Um, and kind of just getting ready for it. these racks come in clutch when it comes to doing all of this, except figuring out what way I want to put them. Oh, that's it. That is the one I didn't even, whew, I didn't even breathe during that. I just got done, Nash and I, thank God for Nash, but um, I just got done doing a bunch of content work as you saw, did a photo shoot with all the shorts, I'm doing one for TikTok and then one for Instagram and I want to do a giveaway as you guys know, um, but this is my nail appointment fit, I don't know if you guys can see, I got some Air Force Ones, I've got my Lulu Align shorts, and then kind of like my oversized sweatshirt, because it's like nice weather, but it's still a little chilly. And then I have my next meal of the day is two slices of Dave's Killer Bread, um, some avocado, and some chicken. And it's freaking delicious, and it's like, mm, one of my favorite meals. You guys are getting like a real representation of the chaos in my every day that I create for myself. But I am at my nail appointment now and I wanted to show you guys the before. So here is the before. They're like a nice little light pink. Yes, that is a tanning mishap that I had. But here's the before. Here is the after. Gorgeous. I love this color. It's giving me spring. It's giving me summer. Love. So obviously just had to make a quick pit stop. Y'all, I'm hungry. I ate like an hour and a half ago, two hours ago, and I'm hungry. But I made a quick pit stop at my favorite person ever, my hairdresser, who is also one of my really good friends, to pick up some goodies. And I'm about to put you on to literally the best smelling products in your life. Like, this shampoo and conditioner, I, I have no words. It is my god it is like i want it in a perfume i want it in a candle i want it in a diffuser it is unreal so it's heart of glass shampoo hopefully you guys can see it and i got the heart of glass conditioner right here absolutely delicious and then i love daviness products i get them all from my hair lady which is so great love you bailey so i got the dry texturizer and then i got the medium hold hairspray because i just ran out and then she gave me a little sample of the what is it daviness hair butter so very exciting stuff um i just love the smell and i've had dove and shampoo for so long like over a year and sometimes after you have the same shampoo smell for a year you're like it works great but i just need a new smell and we needed a new smell and so here we are but let's get home and get ready for the gym all right we are back home back home 
I just made my pre-workout meal, which is like my biggest meal of the day, and it's delicious. I've got some white rice, ground beef, and broccoli. It doesn't sound delicious now that I'm saying it like that, but staple is the way to go. And if anyone is interested in what I'm eating, yeah, pre-workout, I'm gonna go one bagel, one tablespoon of peanut butter, and a banana. Gotcha. One bagel or two? One bagel. One bagel. One bagel. Leg day today. Leg day. Yeah, that's tough. So here we are. I usually eat this pre-workout meal about 45 minutes before I go lift. So it's basically like fully digested, all whole foods. So freaking good. This fuels me for my workout and it makes me feel so good. Once you switch to a mostly major, ma majority, 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 that's the word majority. Okay. Um, that's how my brain is processing today. But once you switch your foods to majority whole foods, like that's what your diet consists of, your body craves that so much. Like when you go off track, your body craves going back to whole foods, like right away. It's crazy. And it just makes you feel like you just feel so much like better. Like I'm so much less bloated because you of really, the really You don't that feel bloated. Eating. Sorry to interrupt, but you don't feel bloated. I know this is your YouTube, but I can attest. I don't ever feel as bloated from eating whole foods. Mm -hmm. We're both on meal plans right now that we're eating mostly the same thing. The portion sizes are just way different. So I'm gonna eat this, get my fit on, and show you guys that, and then we'll be heading to the gym. Here's the gym fit. I'm wearing literally the same exact outfit as earlier, almost. So this is underneath my sweatshirt. This top is from Athlet. It's really cute. My Lululemon biker shorts, Air Forces, and then. Um, I tied this like cute little Nike thin jacket I got at like the outlet store like five or six years ago around my waist. It's giving like soccer mom vibes. Um, and then I have my pre-workout which matches my nails. How cute is she? Um, I'm using my bean pre-workout rainbow candy. It's the best. Got my water here and then my gym bag. And we are ready for the gym. And we are ready for the gym. Okay, you guys, here we are, posted up in a random parking lot in my car again, doing YouTube, because I get home. This is a beauty about living in an apartment complex, okay? They just kind of, like, come do their repairs whenever it's convenient for them. Like, they'll give you, like, a 24-hour, like, hey, just a heads up, we're going to come by in the next 24 hours, but you never know when, right? So I get back from the gym. They're like repairing this drywall in the apartment. And I was like, oh my God, I can't record anything that I wanted to record. I wanted to make my protein shake with you guys. So I couldn't do that. So I made it. I was like, whatever. I got to skedaddle and get to my people. So here we are in a random parking lot posted up. But you know what? It's totally fine. No, I didn't. Don't even talk about it. I didn't shower because they were placing the drywall in my bathroom and I literally don't have time. I've practiced in like 30 minutes to go coach and I was like, okay, okay. Like me with a change of plans doesn't go well together. So here we are. I used beam, um, vegan protein. So good. One banana, almond milk, peanut butter, and five ice cubes. The recipe is up on my, um, my Instagram and speaking of which I want to show you guys which workout I did today I didn't record it today because I was in and out and honestly did not have a great workout it was just kind of like I don't know it just honestly was not it was not great and of course I don't really have good service over here to show you guys but here we go it was this upper body day it's posted on my Instagram I don't know if you guys can see it this is the upper body day I did today it's always such a good one but your girl is tired today, but I want to chat with you guys about my cut and update you guys on how everything is going. All right, so since we last chatted, I was like week two, I think, and now we are seven weeks in, you guys. I cannot believe it. Or it was week one or week two. I can't remember. I think it was week two, but now we are in week, week six or week seven. I don't even know. We are in week forever, but... Since we last chatted, I had six meals every day. I was in the process of kind of reverse dieting a little bit. And the main thing, the main goal with the reverse diet for me especially, and with any reverse diet really, is to speed up your metabolism. And boy, have we done that. I chatted about it on my Instagram a little bit, but my metabolism is pumping. And that's when I really know that this is the all the dieting that I've been doing and everything like that. Well, I don't want to call it dieting, but 
all the nutrition changes that I've made in my life have been working and it's so exciting. Um, so this is the second week that I have gone into dropping calories. So we took one whole meal out and a few of the other meals decreased just a little bit, very slightly. So it's a very slow kind of cut so far. Um, we didn't go from like zero to a hundred, nothing changed with the workouts and nothing changed with the cardio. I'm still doing 30 minutes of cardio after my workouts. And then two times a week, I'm doing fasted cardio. And one of the days was obviously today, um, fasted cardio, 30 minutes of stairs. And my post-workout cardio is just walking on a treadmill incline seven to eight, um, speed 2.5 to three for 30 minutes after my workouts. That I'm not doing fasted cardio on. So today, obviously I just did fast cardio, didn't do any cardio after my workout. Um, I'm feeling so good, but I am feeling kind of like the cut. Like, I'm not going to lie, you guys. I'm hungry. I'm hungry at night, though. That's the thing is that I am so busy. This is a day in my life. I am all over the place all the time that like during the day I'm so busy that it's like I don't think about like the meals that I'm getting in I'm like perfect done boom we're feeling good and then by the time that it gets to dinner I'm like after dinner after I eat my dinner when it's like eight o'clock at night the sweet spot where everything tastes better at night I'm just like wow I could go for a burger I could go for Chick-fil-A I could go for in and out I'm like craving all these things but honestly at the end of the day I'm feeling so good not where I'm starving but I'm like oh I have that little itch so I'm really kind of starting to feel the impact of kind of the calories being lessened but I really feel like I'm starting to lean out just a teeny bit like I feel like it's mental I'm starting to feel leaner but I'm like okay I'm took the video I recorded the upper body day that I posted like this last week and I was like dang like I'm kind of like seeing my muscles pop a little bit and I'm like maybe this is mental maybe it isn't but honestly I'm feeling so freaking good so far this has been nothing but an amazing experience and I still have been having treat meals I still have gone out and drank in a few times like I'm still living my life but I'm finding that balance where like I want to say 90% of my like whole entire experience of what's going on I am showing up for myself even if I'm not getting the best workouts um, I'm still getting in my nutrition and I'm still showing up for myself and that has gone so far and it makes you realize that like you don't have to be perfect a journey isn't about being perfect it's about showing up for yourself and that's what I've been doing and I'm just like so proud of myself right now and we're only like I should get my weeks down week six or seven in and we're going until summer but it's been a very slow process and honestly it made me realize that for the past year and a half when I wanted to cut and look lean and toned and all of these different things I was so far from ready for that and I'm realizing that now that now I'm ready for it now I'm ready to feel confident in a bikini for the first time and actually look lean for the first time in my life and you know see all of the muscle that I've built kind of be toned and everything like that so I'm just like really excited but it's crazy because it really puts into perspective how just like my whole journey how I really was not ready to cut at all ever <laughs> throughout my past year and a half and going through you know a little bit a huge reverse diet in the beginning a little bit of like a bulking kind of freelancing phase and now you know going through a very serious and relatively like strict meaning like on my end I was like on my own ass of like doing getting all my meals in and stuff and hitting my workouts and I have been so consistent and it's been amazing I've created a lifestyle out of it and I love it and eating all of the foods I've been eating it's been nothing but enjoyable I have not dreaded one of my meals I am switching up my seasonings and everything like that so it's been great so far but I'm definitely starting to feel feel the in changes and the impacts of the cut and we only are just really starting with it like we have not increased cardio yet and we have not changed up the workouts yet and anytime you change up a workout split or a routine that takes a toll on your body it takes time to adjust to that so it'll definitely be interesting the next update that I'll give you guys um hopefully I'll be even further along that's kind of the goal I have not weighed myself at all 
I'm just taking progress pictures and that's it. So uh, my next set of progress pictures I'm taking are this next week and I'm really excited. I never really share those um, because I feel like those are personal to me, but I definitely want to do like a transformation once I'm beginning to fully end like towards the summer and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm just going based off of progress pictures. I'm not weighing myself, but I am feeling good. I just got home and rinsed off. Like I literally got home from practice and sprinted to the shower because I felt so gross because I could not rinse off after my workout earlier, which you know what? Say la vie, it happens. Um, I did not wash my hair, obviously. So what I'm gonna do now is just like a little nighttime, nighttime skincare hair care with you guys. Um, but I added something to my nighttime skincare routine and I am obsessed with it. And I'm really excited to show you guys. But first, every night I put in, like, obviously, brush your extensions because that's all I'm doing now is brushing my hair every single day, all day. Um, I use the Way hair oil. I absolutely love it. So I'll do, like, three pumps of that and just lather it on up and go all throughout my hair. Make sure these extensions are nice and moisturized. And now I usually put my hair up in a braid like every night because it just looks really good with the extensions the next day. So I'll do like a very rough um, French braid just really quickly. Doesn't matter if there's bumps or anything in it just to get like a really pretty wave for the next day. Okay, so very rough. French braid, but she's cute, I think. I don't know what it looks like from the back, so don't judge. But, so one thing I've added to my face routine, you guys know that I'm obsessed with this brand. You already know. But it is the Laneige Eye Sleeping Mask. Are you kidding me? Paired with their Water Sleeping Mask. It's like a match made in heaven. It's like everything that I've ever dreamed of. But first, I am going to be using a retinol. I haven't been super consistent with this. Um, so I'm going to use it tonight. But I'm going to use the retinol. Actually, I'm going to use the eye stuff first. I don't know which order this goes in, to be honest. The retinol probably goes first. But look at how cute this little like dispenser thing is. Okay. And you just kind of put it underneath your eyes. And... Like just dab it in from there so freaking cute like I don't know I just love that extra step and I've never used like an eye cream or anything before so I've just been like eh. and then the La Roche Pose I'm using the B3 retinol serum just gonna use a few droplets of that and have that go all over oh, it feels so good to put serums on my face to be honest and we are all oiled up, moisturized, and now we're ready for dinner. We are trying to eat dinner right now, but just as if this day couldn't get more hectic, classic day in our lives. Yeah. Um, <coughs> our refrigerator and freezer just lost power, and so did some of our outlets over there. So, fingers crossed maintenance can make it over tonight. Otherwise, all of our food prepped is going to be spoiled. So. That's just another day in our lives here. Um, but I did want to show you guys this meal that Nash was able to squeeze out before everything kind of hit the fan. Um, I'm having tilapia tonight with uh, broccoli and white rice and a little bit of red onions. It is so good. Nash made the tilapia. He made this whole thing, but he's really good at making fish. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm going to be eating, stress eating, while we wait for maintenance to hopefully come and... Fix our refrigerator. Okay, so good news is that maintenance guy is on his way, but I totally forgot to tell you guys about, this is my last meal of the night. This is it, we're done after this. But as you can see, there is a crap load of um, broccoli in my dish. And I have been filling up my meals now with so many veggies, like broccoli, asparagus, because these are super good volume foods. Also with onions to give it flavor and bell peppers such good filler foods to make it like more volume. So it looks and feels like I'm eating a lot, but broccoli is like super low calorie. They're good carbs and everything like that. So I'm like decking out with, 
with all the veggies that I can so I can like really fill myself up and feel like I'm eating a lot because I am, um, but very low calorie. So that's kind of what you want to focus on, especially with the cut is getting in those volume foods and stuff like that, where it looks and feels like you are eating a lot, you're chewing a lot, you're digesting a lot, um, but it's very low calorie. So that's what I've been doing um, here. And this is like my favorite meal. It's just it's so good. We are all settled down for the night. Got our tea. We are at the desk. I just went over um, everything for like my content tomorrow. I have my consultation calls planned out, emails planned out, gym, practice. Everything is already planned out in my planner. Um, if you don't know what I'm doing at my desk before bed, go look at my evening routine. I go into depth what I do for my entire evening routine ritual. Obviously, tonight was a little thrown off, but our fridge and stuff is fixed. We just had to like fix a circuit adulting. You learn something new every day, but at least you're ending the, the day on a good note, which is great. But that is a very typical day in my life and a day of my life on my cut. You guys got to see kind of like my fasted cardio, all of that fun stuff, take you guys through the entire day, all of my meals and whatnot. So I had so much fun filming today and I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for supporting me. I love you so much and I will talk to you soon.